Why did I do this? <gasps> I didn't need to do this. Today, I bought Team U wigs that were less than £11 each, so you don't have to! <laughs> so yes, hello there, my name is Indy, and I am a beauty professional, drag artist, entertainer, and general doll from the United Kingdom, and I... <laughs> I'm sure that you have also been accosted, surrounded, hounded by these team you ads. And with some of the price points, some of the looks of some of the items, a cave and a collapse on in on myself like a mine shaft. Ooh. And I spent a total of 62 pounds, 16 pence, right? And I bought seven wigs and this is unsponsored. So I spent my cold hard cashewshlia on the stuff so it's going to be a very honest review from start to finish um it's the first time me doing a video of this kind of style so please be kind i'm sure you've guessed by this point at some of these price points okay it's not going to be hd lace swift you know handmade by virgins in the brook it's not going to be that okay but if you are a queen on a budget if you are just generally a wig stress, if you like playing with hair, if you like hair styling, my aim is to have a little look at these listings, compare them with what came, and we can talk about ways that you can maybe incorporate them into a drag look, you could use them as a hair piece, whatever. We'll discuss that as we go through, so stick around to the end of the video. I, I don't know what's going on with my tongue, it's bright blue. I've been playing with Smurfs, and I know what you're thinking. How are you going to give us some kind of, like, scale of whether it was good or not? I have just a plan. It's pretty simple. Rating 1 out of 10. I mean, no whistles, no bells. This was my first purchase on Team U, and I have got to say that it turned up with, like, just over a week. It's not quite in comparison to AliExpress or, say, Wish, where you can be waiting six months. You've moved house, you've changed your name, you've become a apple. A lot quicker than that, in my opinion, and from my experience. I've done two orders. My second one included this top today. It arrived in this bag, like so. Just kind of rolled up. Whee! Let's get into it. Who came first, the chicken or the egg? Neither. It was me baby. And without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Wig number one. In this bag. Yes, I know that I said that they were all packed exactly the same, but I was wrong, okay? I'm not perfect and I don't claim to be. <laughs> but yes, so first wig is in this bag. I'm going to read you a little bit from the listing. So the name of this wig on the listing is Brown Ombre Ivory White 35.56 cm Long Curly Wavy Hair Wigs with Bangs Female Synthetic Hair. <laughs> Work? So, here's a picture of the listing here in the corner. We're going to try this on and then compare it to this picture and see if it is what we actually paid for. Why am I doing this? So now this wig cost 10 Editing Indy here, just letting you know, I screwed up me clip, everybody. It cost £10.98, okay? I do apologise, I'm back to the video. Here she is in her little baggie. So let's take it out there. I mean, it's a very standard way for a wig to be packed, isn't it? You've got the little bag. It did come with this wig cap as well. I'm not bold, I promise. As far as I can say, looking at the listing compared to it so far, bang in. Let's get it on and see, shall we? I'm so not ready for this. Before you ask, no, I don't know what possessed me to do this, but you are so welcome. <laughs> so if you have a large head like me, be prepared for disappointment. Ugh. <laughs> oh no. Right, hold on. Give me a moment. Ugh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. I need a hairbrush. Look, right? As I said, this video is for entertainment purposes. Are you entertained? You better be. <laughs> so, let's... <laughs> let's discuss, shall we? I will say... Right, it's on now. Oh my gosh, literally, it just wants me to eat it. What's going on? So, compared to the listing, I feel like it's not bad. However, I will say from looking at the picture... Um, th the colour looks more black. And it's not just my camera, by the way. It, it genuinely looks like this. In person. Okay, do you know what? In person, this almost looks better, but it does not fit my head. What is this? 
I feel like Claudia Winkleman got some highlights and took it too far. <laughs> forever faithful, girls. Forever faithful. Let me get this thing off my head a second. Let me get this thing off my head. <laughs> this one, I think actually is all right, to be fair. I feel like for someone, in someone in some setting would probably wear this. I mean, I don't think I did it justice, but you can see it's pretty standard wig construction, little hard front moment with the bungee tracks in the back. And then this scalp bit, I've got to say, I mean, it looks very wiggy. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush. It looks very wiggy, but I feel like genuinely it's not that bad. It's got a decent little scalp bit. All right. Yes, it's hateful, but you have to remember this wig cost me a tenner, cost me a tenner. It seems pretty sturdy as far as like the construction went. And I feel like genuinely someone like Cartier would wear this or something similar. It'd work. I think for the fact of that being £10, uh, 10, 11 pounds, whatever you want to call it, that's pretty good. So I'd say that the price point and the construction on this is decent, but I can definitely think of ways I could incorporate this into something else. And another thing I'd note on the construction, which I do notice sometimes on wigs that are of a lower price point, you notice that the underlayers aren't coloured. So when it comes to styling and when it comes to editing this into something a bit more wearable, in ways it can limit you. So obviously that has to be taken into account as well on this review. But to be honest, work, not bad, okay? My main con with this wig would be, I feel like the fringe is a bit too thin. Um, obviously, if you were going to wear a wig like this, you'd probably want to customise the fringe and the front of it. But I'd say the wig feels a bit too thin. And not only that, but if you have a big head, this feels like it's going to straight off. If you know what I mean. If you've worn a wig and it's a bit, it's a bit like, oh no, this isn't going to stay on. No amount of pins is going to save her. I mean... It may do. It may do. What do you think? I mean, I'm not putting it back on because I feel like that was an absolute crime. <laughs> Out of a 1 of 10 rating, I think I would probably have to give this a, a 6 or a 7. And that's only because I feel like if it wasn't so small and if there was a bit more time put into the construction, it could have been a 10. Do you know what I mean? Like, this could have been an amazing find with those few tweaks. So... Pop off, pop off. I love it. <laughs> it could be worse, everybody. It could be worse. And now on to the next wig. <laughs> this one is called Two Tone Color Long Water Waves Wig Synthetic Medium Length Synthetic Fiber Hair Wigs for Women. <laughs> and it's sold by a company called Cute Women. Love that. So this wig only cost me £6.28. And I mean... So I went for the colour orange red. It's definitely orange red. I think that anyone who knows a little bit about wigs can already see. This is something that many people have come into contact with. The shine, specifically. Remember this cost £6.28. Let's get it on. The things I do for you, eh? Are you ready? No. I can't even look at myself. This is horrendous. I'm going to take this off, all right? I do feel like for the price point, there's plenty of it. I like the colour. You can already probably tell how I feel about this unit. And we have the latex faux scalp in there, which, you know, you get points for. Um, and similar construction to the first one that we looked at. We've got the ombre going on and underneath. Very common once again with these kinds of wigs. You're only coloured on top, babes. However, if you were doing like a fancy dress costume, if maybe you wanted to turn this into like a cosplay or something like that, it could actually in some way be a bargain and be a steal. It depends what you would need this for. On that note, for me, in my own alleged opinion, I'm going to give this a three. It's built, put together, all right. It, they've, they've tried at least with the scalp, like I say. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel like it really has any wearability without a lot of work or without full-on fancy costume ginger witch. You know, I'm going to give that a three because... 
garbage. At this point, I'm kind of a bit like, please, like, I want some of these wigs to actually be useful and to look decent at least please with that really shiny synthetic fiber you can do things to mask it there are ways and tricks but please give me something that's got some nice fiber please that brings us to the next listing now this one actually cost me 11 pound 48 so a bit more than 11 pound but you know the drill we're rounding down here on the channel. So this is called Ombre Blonde Long Loose Wave Wigs with Bangs. 6604 CM Wavy Dark Roots Synthetic Hair Wigs for Women. And it is by Blonde Unicorn. Ooh. And if you're a unicorn, drop me a comment. And here she is. She's got a bit of shine, but she's not gleaming. So fingers crossed. We're, we're praying, we're praying. Thinking good thoughts, all right? Good thoughts. Okay. Do you know what? Out of the ones that we've tried so far, I'm kind of feeling it. <laughs> I do look like a receptionist at salon services. Hi, my name's Debbie. Would you like any buy one, get one free on hair treatment? It's the deep conditioning. <laughs> we've got a pretty good rating as far as the way it looks goes. The fibre feels quite nice. I can't see any ridiculous sheen. And the curl it comes with doesn't look all that bad it's a bit folded as most wigs straight out of the bag do you can kind of see a bit of a fold here if you know if you know but yeah genuinely so far that ain't that bad i'm not saying it's good but this cost 11 pound 48 and for that price point i'm not angry so let's get this off and we'll have a little chat about some ways we could possibly use a unit like this I think that for the fact that this only costs that much money, this is a pretty decent unit. Now let's talk about the construction once again. If we lift up these layers, you can see, there we go. You can see uncolored in the tracks, but I'm not angry. With the construction of this, it's got the, once again, it's got pretty good decent parting on it. The fringe seems to have a good distribution of hair throughout. It doesn't look all that wiggy. It doesn't look that crazy when you put it on. As far as drag goes, would I put this straight on my head and walk out the door? No, not for me, babes, not for me. What I probably would end up with doing with this is modifying it in some way to turn it into a pony piece. I mean, it's relatively close to my hair. You know, we can tease it up, but you could use it as a pony piece. You could take this and tease it up massive and give it some layers and some shape and make a nice drag big hard front wig. There's actually a few possibilities. And genuinely, if you're the kind of girl that wants to wear it to the shop, I love it, go do it, live your life. I've bought similar units before for almost twice the price, let's say. So genuinely, pop off unicorn wigs, we love it. Is it the perfect wig? No. So we're not gonna be having many tens around here, but I will give this a solid eight. Next listing, let's go. This unit is called Ombre Half Blue and Pink 26 Inch Long Body Wave Synthetic Wigs for Women Heat Resistant. Work. So this wig cost a total of £9.98. And I'm going to say from first impressions, yes, it's a bit shiny where the black is, but I quite like the colour, you know. Let's get it on. Oh, wow, right. Let me just... I can't see! I can't! I'm blind! I just felt a stitch snap. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love the length on it. I will say it's already shedding a lot. I like the colour. I like the wave. Concept, I'm giving it a 10. But the construction... This part of the wig here feels so heavy. It almost feels like a different wig. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Who do I look like? Tell me in the comments below, because I, I can't I can't put my finger on it. No. First pro, I actually think this colour combination is stunning. I would say it actually does match the listing as far as colour goes and as far as wave goes. But let's talk about the construction. You can almost see, look. It seems like it's a part of a different wig in some way. It's like sticking right out i don't know it's it's obviously cut from a single track i don't know whether it's the way it's styled but can you see it's like a, it's almost like someone got another bit of a wig and glued it on <laughs> the scalp 
compared to some of the ones that we've seen, even the orange one that we did that was really shiny, I feel like that had a better scalp than this. This has got a bang on it, which hides the hairline, so to speak. But I will say the fiber isn't really giving me the ooh ah, -ah sensation. Like you can see it kind of, this stuff is wanting to lift and frizz quite easy. And a lot of hair seems to be coming out. So pros, I will say, it, it, it matches the listing in the aesthetic and the vibe. I'll figure out a way of using this. It could once again be a pony topper or used within cosplay or for a fancy dress costume or whatever you want, really. There's ways around it, but I'm going to give this wig a solid... I'm going to give it a four because the fibre is better quality than the three, but I feel like even the three's construction was better. So that brings us on to wig number five. Now, the name of this one is... Cosplay wig, 30.48 cm, half silvery, half red short, straight hair, wig, synthetic fiber, hair replacement. Wow, it's a lot. And this costs a total of £4.98. Literally doesn't even fit on my head. Oh, stitch popped again on my fat head. Okay, right. So this is one of those quintessential short cosplay wigs. Now... I know that the idea of a bus driver or a pussycat wig in the world of drag is sometimes seen as a bit of a faux pas, but I quite love a little throw on and go wig. However, it doesn't fit my head. It's far too bleeding. Small. This was probably made for children. So there's a lot falling out. I mean, I think there could possibly be potential. I think. I don't know. Hi, my name's Carol. I've come to speak to the manager about my shedding wig. Let's have a chat. This is very characteristic of Smithies. And you can get these wigs for like £3 in a bag. Compared to the listing, I would say the photo itself actually looks like a very different red. This red's giving fire truck, and the one in the photo gives me like wine. It gives me like romantic, whereas this gives me... Fireman Sam? I don't know. For the price point of this being £4.98, you probably could find something similar for a cheaper cry price at Halloween in B&M. Let's be real. Let's be real now, right? Now, would it be much more or less expensive? Possibly not. But I do think that now I've got this, there are ways I probably can turn this into something half decent. And if not, I could cut it in half and use the white bit as a bang. Who cares? Compared to the listing, it doesn't literally, it doesn't really look like the same colour. Like this is fire truck red and it looks like it in person. And that's more of like a, a wine, a burgundy, you know, you know, blood red. But genuinely for a cosplay wig, for something that like someone who's into cosplay or wants to try out with, I think that's actually a really, really good bargain, to be honest. I think a three is a solid one for that. Next! This one is called... 81.2 centimeters so it's a long one long body wave hair wig synthetic heat resistant hair wigs for anime cosplay halloween and it's by a company called Kai wig slay okay this cost me six pound and 48 pence so first impressions okay white hair usually does look quite shiny however depends on the kind of fiber this has given me a bit of a glow in person but on camera, I mean, you can't really tell. Once again, this is more of that kind of Smithies kind of build. Like, I, I say Smithies, but they're just, no they're just notable for it. You know, um, track sewn onto a standard cap. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Just thought I'd mention. We've got the little clips as usual, which we have actually had in each of the wigs. I just forgot to say it. Let's talk now. Hiya! <laughs> Sephiroth called. It was his lawyer. Um... Right, I'm not featuring it, right? As it is, I'm not featuring it. However, I have got an idea of what something like this possibly could be used for. So, actually not built badly, genuinely, compared to the other one that we got, the longer one. I mean, it feels a bit better built. The fringe is still quite heavy. Um, and the fiber itself, I will say, feels really plasticky. But that's not always a bad thing, as we've discussed. So, you know, I'll get this off and let's have a chat about it, shall we? 
at the end of the day, if you know anything about wigs or synthetic hair or, you know, anything like this in general, you'll understand that usually you are paying for the quality of the hair. And that definitely is an, a compromise that is apparent here in some ways. And it looks relatively sparse for what it makes up with in length. The length, I will say, looks really good. And the colour is what it says on the tin. Um, I just don't think that this kind of fibre on this kind of build of wig at this length really does itself or you any favours. Can you see how if I pick up this part of the wig, everything travels with it? Right? And if I was to add heat to this, it probably would just melt. <laughs> so, what would I do with this wig, I hear you ask? Indy, Indy, what would you do? I actually would give this a good cut, okay, and use it as a topper after it's been styled, teased, and dressed out to perfection. Um, use it as maybe a topper for a lace front. If you had a white lace front, you know, you could, you could change the fringe out, you could tease this up, and probably make something pretty decent out of it, you know. And that's what I wanted to share here, is that sometimes first impressions aren't always going to count to your final result. And with a bit of work, time, and effort, you can really be surprised at the things that you can do. With these cheap cosplay wigs, it's a pretty easy colour to match, given the fact that it's white. Um, I'm going to give this a five. I'm going to give this a five, purely because I can see more use for it at the moment. Um, yeah, so in my opinion, I would say for a cosplay, actually, pretty decent. Fancy dress, live your life, girl. It's Storm! Um, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. I think it's pretty good. So, yeah, I will give that a solid five. On to our final review and our final wig for the day, which is actually supposed to be a lace front. The listing describes this unit as small lace front wig, blonde mix, brown wigs with middle part, straight heat resistance, synthetic hair wig, 14 inch for women daily wear. Daily wear. Okay, so we have to take that into account. It costs £9.98 and I got it in the colour sky blue. Okay, so I've just pulled it out of the bag and Here's our lace front. A lace closure. A small lace closure in the top of the wig, um, which probably will give you a decent, you know, fake scalp. However, if you get really close, right, can you see the wig cap starts from here with a thicker lace? So I do feel that it's pretty counterproductive. Um, like, if you to look at that, I mean, it looks all right. We'll see when we get it on. We'll see when we get it on. Let's have a little look. So construction-wise, okay. I like it. They've gone there. We've got some good combs, which for me and my big head, I absolutely love to see. And we've got some nice straps as usual. Yeah, let's see if it works. Okay, so. So now the first thing that's increasingly obvious to me is the fact. I know I look ridiculous. Um... Look at the shine. Wow, wow, wow. It was looking really good, but now this shine, which could actually probably be worked down or dealt with with a bit of styling and teasing. But to be honest, like, wow. Let me get this off. I don't even know what to say about that. I'm not impressed with that at all. Um, And let me tell you why. It just felt really warm. <laughs> I know wigs are warm, all right, all that stuff, but it just felt really warm. I would say that that last wig choices so yes it does actually show the inner workings of the cap on the advert and it does show the smaller part so you know fair play however most people probably wouldn't go that far to look and may just look at it as like oh yeah it's a lace front and then get that little tab and be like what on earth is that so that one i've got to say the construction actually bar the whole um i mean the lace front was actually great to be honest, it did the job. It looked pretty decent. What do you think? Um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to say the major thing that lets that wig down. The colour's lovely. Okay, matches the listing very well. The cut matches the listing very well. However, my main irk is the fact that the fibre, again, feels so cheap, so shiny. Um, not always a bad thing. And there are ways that we could probably style this to make it into something wearable for costume drag blah 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 
but that all takes time and a little bit of knowledge. I'm going to have to give that one, I think, a rating of four, because I will say a bit more was put into the construction of it. Um, it was well made. It was well made. But I do feel like, once again, the fiber's gone, let it down, everybody. The fiber let it down. Ah! So, everybody, it's official. We have a winner. And the winner with an 8 rating, which I thought was actually a really good steal for this kind of unit, is the Ombre Blonde Long Loose Wave Wigs with Bang 66.04 CM Wavy Dark Roots and Vague Wigs Hair for Women Natural Looking Hair Wigs for Daily Party Halloween Wear! <laughs> I will just say that Team U, as a concept, I mean, okay, cool. Pros and cons of Team U. Pros. It's quicker than AliExpress and Wish. Cons, I would say, that is the only edge it has on anything else. In my opinion! Editing Indie back just for a second, I wanted to note on the sustainability and ethics of Team U. Now, it was very comparable to AliExpress or Wish. Um, they do stock and create most of these things in China. So, I think as far as ethics go, we can't really discern between that and its competitors at this time. The website itself on Team U does mention that they vet their traders. However, to what extent is not actually put out there? I know that fast fashion is a hot topic these days and that is why I wanted to make these videos to show that sometimes these objects, cursed items you may find on these lower price bracket websites can actually be turned into something that could last you for years. I definitely believe that sustainability starts at home and the best thing that you can do as an individual at this time is to see how we can make them more sustainable. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Would you buy from Team U? If you have been sat here watching and thinking, what on earth? What on earth is this crazy person going to do with all of these cheap wigs? If you'd like to see me actually do some tutorials of the way that I would incorporate these into costumes and drag, etc. Let me know in the comments box down below. Uh, I mean, are there any points that you think I've missed about these items? Have you had any wild wig listing Wish AliExpress stories too? Let me know. Remember to follow me at Indie underscore X underscore O on both Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much as always for joining me here. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my gaming content. Here, I stream regularly on my YouTube channel, so check out my live tab and come and join us for the RPG, indie, and fantasy gaming live on YouTube here on my channel. Remember to consider giving me a subscribe, drop me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I will see you next week, angels. Yes. Mwah.